Hello, it's the Bat Mini Painter with some more Legions Imperialis. Today, a Reaver Titan. Absolutely awesome model. Uh, I just, I, I love these tiny Titans. It's they're awesome. Uh, I, I, uh, I'm going to realize that I forgot to build the, the <laughs> one of the weapons. Uh, that hole is not supposed to be there. So I'm going to realize it in one, two. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Anywho, non oil. Um, I decided to spray coat it with a lead builder because there's a lot of metal parts that's going to be hard to reach. Uh, it's not the main color of the model, but it's it's hard to reach. So a base coat of that saved me a lot of time, and then just non oil all over the place. I decided to go with the Ligio Mortis uh, for uh, for this Titan. Yeah, I think that's going to be all my Titans, but I I, I don't know. I think I could do something really cool in Death Guard as well. Ah, doesn't matter. So it's red and black. Um, and I decided to start with the uh, Mephiston Red from uh, Citadel. Uh, it's been a while since I used it, but I think actually this is mainly Citadel colors for this video. Abaddon Black, uh, that I didn't thin quite enough. It's okay, I managed to save it, kind of. Ah, you'll be the judge. Um, but yeah, for for the shields um, and plates that aren't red, they're going to be black. So now you know. And kind of a new technique that I'm going to cover with my hand. Not a new technique to anyone, but I'm not using it. Uh, so I have a brush with a very uh, hard uh, brush. I have a very hard brush. I don't know how to... Anywho, I stippled this on, like you can see. Uh, there, yes, finally. Uh, so just stab the plates. Um, so I get the paint on, I wipe most of it off, and then I just stab the plates, and it adds a, a nice variation. Um, and this, this, this was my first of now my second mistake with this model. Um, first one being not putting it completely together before I decided to start painting. Uh, but Auric Armor Gold, I wanted something quite uh, vibrant, uh, and it turned out that this has just horrible coverage and I was in too deep before I realized that that was the case so yeah anywho 16 coats later and I had something that looked okay uh, so black templar um, yes because we need that uh, for uh, the joints on the legs um, because I felt like looking at the box art, it was kind of a different black, a little more metallic, less painted off, but more like the metal was black. Yeah, uh, bright bronze uh, for all the parts that uh, that I want to stand out on uh, on the skeleton uh, of this model. So not the the trim uh, on on the plating, but uh, but more like uh, bolts and uh, wires and. I just kind of picked out different points on the uh, on the dead belcher metal and uh, and decided to add the bright bronze to add some variation. Uh, then storm host silver to highlight uh, the metal, uh, the the lead belcher part. Um, generally, just to make uh, the saw blade look sharp, but also to do a little bit of highlighting on on some of the skeleton or or, or, or what you want to call it. Then right line flesh shade for all the bronze, and I, I kind of slap it on without being too careful because uh, whatever staining I get will just make it look a little bit uh, old and battle worn, and and that was kind of what I went for. Normally I like my models to have a fairly clean look, um, but it seems like uh, the horse heresy. Uh, uh, epic scale models kind of want to make me do them dirty. Yeah. So I decided to try to add oh spirit stone for the eyes. Also citadel. I think I'm only using citadel colors for this video. No, 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 no. No, I break it up a little bit. Bright bronze is not citadel, so good on me. But I decided to add battle damage 
and that's something I never do because it's kind of freehanding and freehanding is not my thing. So for the black battle damage uh, scratches, I do uh, Celestra Grey first, then Thrash Metal from Scale 75, which is uh, just like Iron Hands, except it doesn't suck. And I put that line right next to the Bright Grey. And then I go in with Asian Grey, uh, and I kind of stipple around uh, the, the two other stripes that are placed right next to each other. Uh, and the whole effect is it, it gives like the impression of paint being scratched off. Uh, like there are several layers. It's it's a cool little effect. So I decide to do the same on the on the red part of uh, or, or the red plating. First, put a wild rider red, which is uh, much more vibrant than the sharp light red. And then again, trash metal. Not totally covering the, the line, not aiming for the middle, but a little below. So you have to kind of imagine the projection of whatever did the scratch, how it would move into the paint. And you can't see anything from my hand. That's that's just that's the service I do. And finally, Evil Sun's red. Uh, again, Evil Sun Scarlet. Anywho, and again the same like basic concept as uh, with the Asian Grey, I kind of stipple it around where the scratches should be. And that's the finished result of, of those lovely scratches. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please do leave a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And um, hopefully you will come back and watch more of my videos, check check out my other stuff, it's kind of, it's, well it, it's pretty bad, but you know, it, I, I made it. So yeah, thank you so much for your time, I know it's valuable, and uh, I hope you have a continued awesome weekend. Yes, that that's it, thank you for your time. Bye.